Here I'm going to show you a great trick for camouflaging your slicers. So here we have our lovely slicer and it fits perfectly in with the spreadsheet. We can show gardening, kitchen, roofing, whatever we want, and we don't have all the extra stuff here. So let me clear that out and I'll show you how to make it. All right, and I just added back all the other stuff for the spreadsheet. So a view tab, a formula bar, headings, and a grid lines. That way you can see it's just a normal spreadsheet. So insert your pivot table. I just have all my raw data over here. And click in the pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze, insert slicer. We are going to do this one on category. Hit OK. And here is our regular boring basic slicer. So the first thing, let's get the slicer menu back. And now we can right click the slicer or just click it and go to slicer settings. Right now it's off the screen. And go to display header and you want to uncheck that. Then we get this and we are almost there. Just two more steps. So let's kind of resize it a little bit. And what you want to do now is go to align in the slicer tab and go snap to shape or snap to grid. Both should be selected now. And then make this guy as big as your pivot table if that's what you want. And that way you have the width set up correctly. Then we can remove this because it is very annoying. And go to columns over here and change columns from one to the number of items that you have here or however you want to set it up. But if I do four, it makes this look really nice like this. And I will bring this guy up like that. And now we have to get rid of the border. The border is very annoying. If I go to view and take the grid lines away, it's even more annoying. And this one's a little bit weird how we have to take it away. So click the slicer, go to slicer, and choose a style up here. And get a style that looks pretty much how you want it. And then right click that style and go to duplicate. Now here we can set many options for the slicer. What you want is whole slicer. Then click format, go to border, and hit None. Then OK. OK. But we're not done yet. This step is very easy to forget. It has not actually applied the new design, so the new style. So you can still see the border. So click it again, slicer, and we see our new, if we click this button, our custom options right here. So just click it, click away, and there you go. No border, no header only the buttons. But how do you clear the buttons now so you can reset the filter? Well, right click, clear filter from category. And there you go. One more tip that you might like is it's kind of annoying to have a pivot table always resize to fit the data. So what you can do is to right click the pivot table and go to pivot table options, which is just off the screen right now. And then go to layout and format and uncheck auto fit column widths on update. By default, that will be checked. Then hit OK. And when you change your selections, it will maintain its width. However, if you have an option up here that will remove some of the columns, like bathroom, it will still change the width. So it can't be 100% perfect all the time, but it can be pretty darn close. And uh, that's how you can camouflage your slicers.